Show you the culprit right now right here this is the culprit it doesn't even look that dirty but ooh, it does it stink and it is stinking up the warehouse so uh, number one on our list is to get this clean and get this out of here done. get her done yeah because she's uh she's smelling up the warehouse that's been closed up all day and now i did see a couple of your comments on the rug washing video so just for you guys, I got this uh, nice white tarp, which for when we're filming the videos at least, we will replace uh, the black. It'll be a little bit easier to see all the dirt and stuff like that. I thought the black might be a little bit different considering every other rug washing video is white background and this might see the uh, suds and bubbles more, but um, I get it, you can't really see any dirt with the black background. And a lot of these are a lot dirtier than they look on video and it, it's really hard to convey. So hopefully that white tarp there will uh, do the trick. What's up guys? Welcome back to another Steam Boss video. Today we have another terrazzo project for you guys. Really excited for this one. Should be a really good transformation. You can see how, how dirty this floor is. All right, so here is what we have today. So this is a original trazo floor with this house, obviously. Um, it has not been done in many, many years. So the homeowners have been doing this floor themselves by just cleaning it and applying uh, like a bona floor finish to it. So it has some wax buildup, which is all of these dark areas here. See, they got some furniture that was sitting there that they've gone around. Hey, Becky. Hey, again. <laughs> <laughs> You're in every single video. I oh, am. I so we are doing all of this today here. Here's not so bad, but you can see where the furniture went. The kitchen's really dirty. A lot of dirt on this floor from the wax buildup in the bedroom here. You can see just how kind of dirty this floor is. So we're going to be stripping off uh, all of this finish in here. Uh, then we are going to be taking the floor down a little bit. Then you do not want this floor fully restored just because of mainly budget constraints, which you know we understand. So we're just gonna be taking the floor down slightly and then uh, giving it a nice polish. So it'll look a lot better than it does. It's not a full refinish, so it won't be perfect, but definitely a lot better. So good news is, is the uh, wax is coming off really nice. So it is bona. see what difference this is making just removing the uh, the old wax from this floor all right so in here you can see just with the wax removed 
Uh, it's looking way, way better. Still a little bit wet, so some of these darker spots, but it's not gonna be perfect. Like I said, we're not taking this floor down that far. Um, so that's not what they want, but look how much better it looks even just with the other finish removed and no polish on it. Honestly, it looks even better. But we haven't done any of this yet. You can see, see that line, how uh, just browned out. It really made this floor. Oh, yeah. Pretty typical here. We have a lot of uh, wax buildup underneath the cabinets. Not nearly as bad as that last job that we did. That one is still literally getting me flashbacks. Like. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll put a little card right up here. Go check that one out because whew, that was a doozy. You're wondering how the corners get done? floor is definitely dirty. A lot of soil built up in this wax over time, and that's why we never really recommend using any of these products, even on this kind of floor. It's because it just uh, attracts so much soil and really dulls out the floor and yellows it out as well. So we're just letting this cook. It's looking really good over there. Becky's doing the corners. We're looking good. making just like a U around you or <laughs> what's your game plan here? She has no game plan going into this. Over here, so the number one question we get asked is what kind of stripper do we use? Uh, that's it right there. So if you guys are wondering what kind of stripper that we use, that's it. All right, on the last part of this for all this wax, looking really good. And then we can start uh, taking some diamond resin discs, taking the floor down a little bit and getting ready for polish. Okay, so uh, she just uh, rinsed this floor here. We got a fan on just to make sure we got all the wax because there was a ton of buildup right in this area. Um, so over here, I'm gonna start with the uh, diamond resins and start uh, working on this floor in here and get it prepped for a polish. The main downside to stone restoration is it's pretty boring. So yeah, I will be doing this for the next uh, couple of hours. Not really much to film, not really much for you guys to see. Kind of running over it with different grits and that's pretty much it so i guess i'll catch up with you guys uh, in a couple hours so becky's uh sucking up the last grit here which is an 800 and now we're going to rinse this floor get make sure all of the residue is gone from it and we finally start polishing this baby up
now we are starting to uh, crystallize the floor, which uh, will give it the shine that we're looking for. It's kind of a slower process, but we're getting there. Eight hours later. Well, my arm is about to fall off. It's been about an hour, oh, I don't know, two hours actually, about an hour, 45 minutes, but we're getting there. So I haven't done over here yet, and I have started over here, as you can see. See the light starting to reflect in there, and on this side, nothing. Another terrazzo job in the books. You love doing terrazzo. terrazzo. Yeah, this one wasn't too bad. No, he moved all the furniture. And it was really Bona, easy. not something weird. So yeah. way better than the you last one. I do wish he would have restored the whole thing instead of just kind of having us strip the wax off and give it a little polish. But hey, that's what they wanted. That's what was in their budget. So, and they were really happy with the end result, which is all that matters in the end. All right, we're gonna wrap up the video here, guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who commented on our previous video about me having uh, my second child, my son, Luke. I appreciate all of the kind words. You guys are awesome. We're getting so close to 20,000 subscribers. Uh, for 20,000 subscribers, we're definitely gonna do a special video. I'm thinking that we rent a rug doctor and we test it out against one of our uh, carpet cleaning machines here. I think that would be pretty fun. If you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comment section below. It'll be a kind of a cool 20,000 subscriber celebration. But for now, that's gonna do it. Please subscribe if you are new, give this video a like, and as usual, see all you on the next video. Peace.